Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Something I never thought that I would see. I mean, they said it was coming, but look, it's a Starlink. One of the square dishies. And yes, I did not say that to be funny. They literally call it a dishy. And right now, it's sitting in the middle of my yard. Not on the roof. Just on its little stand, you know. And you can see him kind of moving just a little bit here and there. Okay, and it's not even really in that good of a spot. You got some obstructions over here, which don't seem to bother it. I don't think it goes back this way. And the satellites all seem to be toward that way somewhere. And look, you've got all these obstructions with the trees. Thankfully, the leaves have not come on yet. And yes, I will be mounting it on the house. But I don't have the mounting kit yet. So here it sits in the yard. And when the guy comes to mow, well, I just hope he doesn't run over the cable. But I've got it running so he can see it. But for a test anyway, you know, I just ran it out that window there. And that's, that's good enough for now. That's as good as I could do. And I didn't think it would work. I swear, I didn't think it would work. I had no idea that it could do anything given the amount of obstructions that we have. And the Skylink app keeps track of the number of obstructions. And it's been running 24 hours or so now. I didn't look at the app when I got home because I was busy 3D printing stuff. But uh, it told me last night that there was no more than uh, the most was a three second interruption in most websites and downloads and everything are fine with that. We streamed with it all night and it worked great. Also, I should note that last night we were getting 81 megabits per second. And this morning at about 530 I installed some updates to IntelliJ and we were getting 110 megabits per second and it was pretty solid. The ping times are a little higher than I would like, but I think a lot of that has to do with this. Uh, the ping time has been anywhere from 40 milliseconds all the way up to 118. Now, to put that into perspective, the DishNet service, Viasat, HughesNet, whatever, it's all the same difference. Uh, the ping times are generally uh, 6 to 1,200, 600 to 1,200. So I don't have anything to complain about with that. Um, it's all a matter of what you're used to. And I suspect when we get it up on the roof of the house, point it in the same general vicinity, that it'll be better. And I did order the official mounting kit. I mean, I know there's all kinds of homemade ways to do it, but I just want this thing to work, and I want to have good internet right here where I live, so. And for the first time ever here at this location, I was able to stream Netflix without hiccups, without a lot of buffering, and it looked pretty good. It wasn't total garbage. Because occasionally, you know, Viasat, Dishnet, HughesNet, whatever, makes you think that you're doing well. But it only lasts for a few minutes and a couple of days a month before your shadow ban uh, bandwidth is all eaten up. And I think we got about 15 gigs a month. And you guys know that doesn't take long with multiple devices. Oh, another statistic I'll give you is Beck updated 119 iOS apps in 40 minutes i updated 32 ios apps in six minutes and they were of all varying sizes from your messengers which tend not to be that big all the way up to garage band in my case and uh, i was just blown away because normally updating one iphone app on this viasat takes about oh i don't know seven to ten minutes and oh it's cloudy too i forgot to tell you it's been cloudy the whole time we've had this service and it rained some last night and it didn't matter so i know i keep rambling on but i really am stoked man this is like awesome if you clicked on this video chances are you wanted to know does starlink work in eastern kentucky 
and I can tell you 100% equivocally, so far, yes, yes, it does. Stay tuned for the house mount.